What's going on? If you're not already aware, I want to expose you to an awesome auto enthusiast resource and that's the technical service bulletin or TSB for short. So in this video, I'm going to cover what they are, how they can help you and how you can get them. Let's get started. So a TSB is basically a document that outlines repair information for the dealers and service centers about a particular issue in a particular car or a range of cars. So they're not written for you as the consumer, they're written for the technicians that are gonna work on your car. So TSBs will cover issues that are common and known to the manufacturer, things that may arise after a car is in circulation for a while, and it gives the service center specific instructions on how to remedy those issues. They can also just be informative. For instance, uh, when a particular part is obsolete, a TSB can show the dealer which new replacement part to order. It can show them color codes or even the proper tools to use for a job or the fluids to put in certain vehicles. And the TSBs are great because the service centers don't have to reinvent the wheel. It shortens their troubleshooting time. It shortens their fixed times. You get your car faster. So they're, they're a good thing. And there can be multiple TSBs for certain issues because they can get revised if a better method for fixing that issue is found later or if there were errors in the original TSB or if they want to include more model years as the years pass. So a TSB is not like a recall because recalls are safety related and the repairs for recalls are normally performed by the dealer free of charge regardless of your warranty status and normally you'll get a safety recall notice in the mail either from the manufacturer or from the dealer so you'll get notified in some way that there's a safety recall for your particular vehicle on the other hand a dealer doesn't have to notify you of a tsb so most of the time you're not even going to know they're out there and not all cars are going to be affected by a certain issue covered by a tsb so the dealer is not obligated to correct a problem that does not yet or may never exist in your particular car, even if there's a TSB for it. Also, normally you can get an issue covered by a TSB fixed free of charge as long as your car is still under warranty. After your warranty expires, it really depends on the dealer and your relationship with them as to whether they will fix the issue for free at a reduced price or if you'll have to pay out of pocket for the repair. So let me show you this particular TSB right here. This TSB is for my car and it covers transmission fluid seepage from my transmission. So recently I was installing an intake system and I was under the car and since I knew about this TSB and I knew what to look for, I decided to go ahead and check for this transmission fluid seepage. Now, thankfully my car did not suffer from it, but if it did, I would know immediately that that's an issue and I could take it into the dealer. And at that point, it even shows me here what the dealer will do, which is basically replace the gasket more than likely. So this is good information to have for me, for my particular car. But given how my specific car didn't suffer from that issue, at least not yet, there was no need for me to bring the car to the dealer. But to a larger point, this particular CVT fluid seepage issue is something that I can now check every time that I have access under my car because now I know that it can happen. And this TSB shows me exactly what to look for and when to take the car in. Given how the TSBs are written for the technicians that work at dealers or for service centers, how can they help you as a consumer, right? As a customer. First of all, knowledge is power. So a knowledgeable consumer is gonna be better equipped to negotiate if necessary. And you're gonna be far less likely to be deceived or be taken advantage of. If your car is out of warranty and an issue comes up for which there's a TSB, you're gonna know exactly what kind of work a repair shop will have to do. And as I showed you in my transmission TSB example, knowing about a particular TSB can help you spot problems before they become bigger issues. Some TSBs also involve solutions that a lot of times a car owner can do themselves at home. So let me show you an example of that. Right here, there is a TSB for head units in 2015 to 2017 model years Subarus with these particular head units right here. This document right here, this TSB goes over tons of common issues that happen to thousands of people daily. If you read through this and you have one of these issues that's driving you nuts and your car's still under warranty, you probably run to the dealer so they can fix the issue. Well, if you knew about this TSB and take a few minutes to read this particular TSB, 
right? You might save yourself a trip to the dealer. You might save yourself some gas. A lot of these are simple solutions and a lot of it is just informative. So this particular TSB is just basically telling the dealer how to respond to you if you bring the car in for any of these issues. Good information to have. If you decide you want to get TSBs, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work here. So what you see me using is the Chilton Library database and it doesn't only have TSBs, it also has diagrams, it has manuals. It's just a wealth of automotive information and for just about every car. Now the Chilton Library is a database that can be accessed by many different sources. One of them is universities, right? Colleges and universities. So if you're a student enrolled in a university, your university might already have access. You might be able to log in with your student ID. For others, probably the easiest way to get access to this particular database for free is through your local library system. If you have a library card, go to your local library's website and search their databases for Chilton or any other automotive database. Here, you can see my local library has the access to the Chilton so I can get it that way if I needed to. You have to check with your own library and see if they participate. Of course, if you don't have a library card, this is a good reason to get one. If you're in the US military, if you didn't know, you have access to the entire Chilton library and you can get all of the TSBs and manuals that you need there for free for any card through the Navy MWR digital library, which I'll link in the description. Of course, you'll need a CAC card to access it. So if you want to do it from home, you'll have to have a card reader. That's how I'm accessing it right now. There's many other sources for TSBs, but usually they'll cost you money. That can range anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks right now a year for access to all of the TSBs for your particular car. You can also search forums and look for TSBs there. Most TSBs can be found in one form or another if you just search for the number and usually you can get them free that way. It will just involve a little bit more work on your part, but it can be easy sometimes. It involves a little bit of luck. Not all of them are going to be this easy to find, but when you can't find them you can just save them to your computer and now you have that particular TSB but if you want your TSBs to be indexed or if you want more advanced features like filtering or better search features or maybe you have several cars then paying that 20 to 30 dollars a year might be a worthwhile investment if not do a little bit of legwork and find out how you can get it for free through the library system I hope this video at least gives you some insight into the world of automotive repair and just makes you a smarter consumer. If it was useful, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing for more content just like this. Thanks a lot for watching and take care.